KEPA Aretha Balaga made a statement after his row with Maurizio Sarri during the Carabao Cup final. Image, Getty, Twitter, Aretha Balaga went down with cramp in the dying stages of extra time on Sunday, causing Sarri to tell benched keeper Willy Caballero to get stripped. But as the substitute shot stopper stood at the touchline primed to come on, Aretha Balaga rose to his feet and animatedly shouted that he was fit to continue. Instructed by Sari, the fourth official held up his electronic board with Aretha Balaga's number on it and the stadium announcer began to read out the substitution, but abruptly stopped as the Spaniard refused to be withdrawn. A standoff ensued between Aretha Balaga and his manager, with referee Jonathan Moss consulting the keeper, before informing Sari that the game would continue without any substitution. Sari lost his rag at the 24-year-old's audacity to overrule him and chucked an object on his seat before heading down the tunnel, only to return to his technical area at the last minute. Aretha Balaga saved one penalty during the ensuing shootout and should have saved another, with Sergio Aguero's efforts squeezing its way underneath him. Raheem Sterling converted City's fifth spot kick to retain the Carabao Cup but talk did not stop about the incredible Aretha Balaga and Sari Rowe. After giving some interviews suggesting the incident was a misunderstanding, Aretha Balaga posted a statement on Twitter, which read, Upset and sad for not being able to take the title, we fought until the end against a great team. We will continue working to be stronger. Was KEPA Aretha Balaga entitled to refuse to be substituted? KEPA Aretha Balaga went down through cramp near the end of extra time. Image, Getty, KEPA Aretha Balaga insisted to Maurizio Sarri that he was fine to continue. Image, Getty, at no time has it been my intention to disobey the coach or any of his decisions. Kepa Aretha Balaga, I would also like to clarify some facts of today's match. First of all I regret how the end of the match has been portrayed. At no time has it been my intention to disobey the coach or any of his decisions. I think everything has been misunderstood in the heat of the final part of a match for a title. The coach thought I was not in a position to play on and my intention was to express that I was in good condition to continue helping the team. While the docs that had treated me arrived at the bench to give the message, I feel the image that has been portrayed was not my intention. I have full respect for the coach and his authority, in the mentions, Chelsea fans have been mixed in their reactions, with some sticking by one of the shining lights in their poor season, while others are disgusted with the keeper's actions. Maurizio Sarri fumed as KEPA Aretha Balaga disobeyed his orders, image, Sky Sports KEPA Aretha Balaga received mixed replies to his statement on Twitter, image, Twitter, KEPA underscore 46, there were plenty of supportive messages towards their young keepers such as feel bad for you bro. Clearly was a misunderstanding but don't let the hate let you down. One Aretha Balaga fan also replied with my keeper, ignore the fools, while another asserted, glad you've cleared that up, you're still our number one, we have the rest of the season to focus on now. Good on you for releasing a statement. My KEPA also reflected the undying loyalty of some supporters. But other members of the Blues fanbase were not so sympathetic saying, obey the order first, complain later, and, if sorry says you come off, you come off simple. Some Chelsea fans let loose in the mentions, with one ranting, when the numbers come up on the board, the new keeper is ready for pens, your manager is screaming for you to get the F asterisk asterisk K off the pitch, you walk off the pitch mate. No more understanding needed, the balance between the two was struck by the most popular comment in the thousands of replies, however, with the user joking, you don't need to apologize, you are now the manager.